Junyan will talk about uh, plant hydraulic strategies um, and the impact on ecosystem processes, and it's in the southern Sierras. Um. Uh, can you see the screen? Yes, we can. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, thanks. Uh, I'm Julian. Uh, I'm the postdoc at Tarorans Berkeley uh, lab. So uh, my project is to look at uh, plant hydraulic uh, strategy of conifer forestry at, uh, and its uh, impact on the forest ecosystem process at Southern Sierra California. So um, just a little bit uh, uh, background on the uh, plant hydraulics. Um, tree uptake water uh, through the root system and then it uh, moved the water through the pipe-like uh, uh, network of the, uh, of the stem, which is called a xylem, and uh, deliver it to the leaf where it uh, transpire through the stoma. Mean, meanwhile, the stoma will uptake uh, uh, carbon dioxide from uh, photosynthesis. So uh, the plants can have deep roots uh, versus shallow roots, and in the xylem, it can be safer, uh, inefficient, while uh, unsafe and efficient. That means uh, um, the, plant, the tree can transpire water very fast, uh, uh, but easily from uh, air bubble in the island, which will cause damage to the tree, trees. And the, the leaf can be sensitive. Uh, the stoma of the leaf can be sensitive or insensitive in terms of the vapor pressure deficiency. So those plant, uh, plant hydraulic traits will affect the interaction between the vegetation structure and the plant growth and their effects on the climate and the uh, surface surface structure in the process like uh, the soil moisture and the soil property. So um, the study area is, is um, study area is in the California. We know uh, we have the Mediterranean Mediterranean climate here, and we also have the drought. So um, in California, um, the most precipitation are for in winter, while um, the, the energy supply is during the summer. And also, uh, recently there are 2012 to 2015 California drought, and the cost 90% uh, of the tree died at the Southern Sierra mid elevation region. So um, the place is dominated by the Ponderosa pine. Um, so in, in general, the precipitation at the wet year is uh, some the uh, 500 millimeter, but it's four to uh, 700 millimeter uh, in general, uh, dry year, but in 2014, it goes low to 400 millimeter. So the uh, overall objective of the study is to explore the effects of the uh, plant hydraulic traits on the ecosystem function in the process, and especially uh, looking at uh, uh, their stress on the tree productivity and the uh, uh, drought induced uh, stress. So the approach is to use uh, numeric uh, experiment uh, uh, using the functional assembly terrestrial ecosystem simulation um, of the hydraulic version of that uh, uh, model that incorporates the plant hydraulic uh, uh, dynamic into the ecosystem demography model and their feedback to the environment. So. Uh, the model system is Southern Sierra uh, seasonal sites. Uh, the sub um, the sub of the uh, that uh, of critical zone observatory site. Um, so for the model setup, I use the static stand 
the structure that, uh, uh, from the consent state and the random model for five, five years, uh, some period before the pre-drought and uh, some period uh, during the drought. So there are the, um, two different conifers, um, mod conifers there. Uh, the pine have the sensitive stoma, unsafe xylem, and the deep roots, while the cedar has insensitive stoma, uh, safe uh, while inefficient xylem, and the shallow roots. So I look at uh, the ecosystem variable, the growth primary productivity, evapotranspiration, runoff soil moisture, and the stem water content. Um, so the results, this is a simulated uh, uh, evapotranspiration and the uh, growth primary productivity. And for pine, uh, has higher growth pro primary productivity in the transpiration during the normal year. So uh, from 2010 to 2012, well, uh, it has much lower growth primary productivity and also the transpiration rate during the drought. Um, uh, this, um, so the observed pattern from uh, simula uh, pine simulation is more consistent with the flux tower measurement, which I didn't plot here. Well, uh, in terms of the cedar, the simulated results uh, shows the cedar will have a much lower GPP and the transpiration uh, during the drought and the, also the dry season. And uh, well, uh, the seed can maintain the similar level of the GPP and the transpiration during drought in compare with the pine. So the effects of the uh, runoff and the soil moisture. As, uh, pine um, has the deep roots. So during the pre-drought, um, that uh, the deep roots uh, will facilitate the uptake of the deep moisture and compare to the cedar. So for the pine, um, it, uh, the soil moisture at a lower uh, layer can get very dry and uh, for the uh, from the cedar simulation. So the lower, um, the lower layer of the soil maintains the relatively high soil water content. And uh, during the drought, uh, the pine continue uh, dry the soil moisture at the lower layer to be very dry. And the, the soil moisture at the lower layer from the cedar same regime maintains relatively high even during the uh, drought period. So uh, as a result, uh, cedar, Cedar results, um, the cedar, if the uh, site is dominated cedar, it will result have a higher runoff during the uh, normal year compared to the pine. And also during the drought, uh, cedar have some runoff. Well, uh, if the pine dominates, uh, there's no runoff from the site. In the still water content, uh, it is the measure of the drought stress and the tree mortality. If the stain has high water content, that uh, the tree will has lower drought stress and the lower mortality. Well, if the stain has lower water content, then the tree will experience a severe drought uh, stress and mortality. And um, in terms of the pine, the blue line, um, because the pine has deep roots, it allow uh, the tree access more water so it can maintain higher stand water content during the pre drought condition and uh, can maintain longer duration of the high uh, stand water content. On the other hand, um, during the drought, pine can um, efficiently transpire water and also uh, deep roots reduce the uh, deep water in the soil. So the pine experience uh, sig significant loss of the stand water content. And for the cedar, uh, shallow roots, 
well, during the breakout will result in lower stain water content, but it, it maintain more or less the same during the drought. So in summary, um, where the supply of energy and the water is disynchronized and the subsurface storage capacity is close to any precipitation. So uh, at that site, uh, pi with uh, deep roots and the efficient xylem can fully utilize subsurface storage and the precipitation for productivity. This will uh, result less runoff and the lower soil water content. This is a strategy for high productivity, but uh, uh, it uh, makes the pine to be more vulnerable to prolonged drought. And uh, so uh, if the site is dominated by the pine, uh, the site will have higher vegetation uh, coverage, and, but it can be significantly reduced when severe drought occurs. Um, as the cedar has shell roots and the safer uh, xylem, so this will um, make cedar can only use subsurface, uh, shallow subsurface water storage capacity and leave deep moisture untouched. This results in more runoff, uh, higher soil water content, and therefore less precipitation used for productivity, but uh, this will also uh, let cedar to be less susceptible to drought. And if the site is uh, dominated by the cedar, then the site will have less vegetation coverage, uh, but uh, uh, that will be remain the same through the drought. Um, okay, thanks, that's all. <laughs>